Hello everyone. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. This isn't what was planned. I was going to do a Wheeljack review. Well, eBay's got a promotion where you can sell things for free, and I've got to get this review before I send it off. Because, well, he's not very good, and I think I need to tell people about that. So, forgive me if I'm talking a bit fast. Usually I talk fast and get right to the point in my scripted reviews, so that's what I fully intend to do with this guy. Now, this guy, he is far from perfect. I say, in fact, I, I go out right and just saying he's bad. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, this guy, yeah, why am I hating on this guy so much? It's a few things about the repaint and a few things about the sculpt itself. Mostly about the sculpt itself. I mean, the colors, yeah, they're not good, but the main problem is the sculpt. Here's the real, he, here's the real thing. The sculpt itself just isn't very good compared to what was available at the time. Like, I'll show you in a size comparison later with Cyclonus from the same set, and yeah, not very good. Like, Cyclonus holds up very well. This toy, for its time, doesn't hold up well. It hasn't aged well at all. There have been toys from that time that still work well today, and you know, as you go further back, there are toys that still stand up well. Like, you know, even back at G1, for its time, you know, Soundwave was really good, and you know, you look at stuff like, you know, the G1 toys, yeah, they don't have articulation, but for the time, they're good, because they didn't think about that stuff. For the time that this came out, this is really underwhelming, because, well, yeah, there wasn't another Rodimus to compare it to, but it just doesn't really have that same flair that the classics first had when they came out. So, what do we have here? We have a car. Yeah, it looks like Rodimus, it's sculpted like Rodimus, nice, sleek, Bit thin, but a nice take on it. However, it's, well, it unfortunately comes off as underdone. This isn't the, this isn't the mode where the, the sculpting details come out the most. It's the paint work that really doesn't work. This is a Reveal the Shield repaint of Rodimus, and, well, as repaints go, it's a pretty poor one. You know, Cyclonus from the same set got a better redeco, whereas this one was a repaint, and it's quite frankly terrible. First off, the paint itself, a lot of it feels chalky, very chalky, like especially these wheels, it feels like chalky plastic. And I'm not talking about that kind of okay chalkiness, like what you would get on the Iron Factory sets, or DX9's Hulky, where it's a bit of a matte thing, and it seems a tad chalky, but not too bad. No, no, this feels really chalky. Like, knockoff grade paint chalky. It's not so bad on these windows, although I'll get back to that later, but the wheels, and especially the back, the paint just feels cheap. Furthermore, uh, I'm not exactly sure what they were thinking with these windows. The original had clear windows, and that was great. You could see everything inside there. You had some sculpted seats, and it was a nice touch to uh, an okay toy. Doesn't have that here. Here it's just plain old blue colored in to make it movie accurate. And yes, it's accurate to the G1 movie, but accuracy can sometimes ruin a toy. Sometimes you have to take some design liberties against that. Furthermore... The back section is hollow just so you can stick the weapon in there. I don't know where the weapon is. I'll find it when I go to sell it. However, well, uh, it just doesn't really work. Like, I'll pull up some photos of the gun plugged in there later. And quite honestly, ugh, it's disgusting. And the gun thing, the fire thing is just like blue flames. It's also painted with that really, really chalky paint. Ugh, it just doesn't work. It just really does not work in the slightest. Now, for a size comparison, and this will bring up the next problem. Taking a look next to Combiner Wars Wheeljack. One of the big problems is that the deluxes are getting smaller. But look at how small Rodimus is. He's way too small. He's the size of these deluxes, these Combiner Wars deluxes. At the time, that's pretty poor, because the Luxes, they were big, they were chunky, they were part of, they were like an around the movie verse time, where things were big. And I mean, even when Deluxes have been getting smaller, you put him next to something like Strongarm, which is smaller than most Deluxes of this time period, yet still very chunky. Like, Combiner Wars Deluxes, yes, they have the excuse 
of being limbs, so they have a lot, they need to fit in a lot more engineering. This doesn't have an excuse, this is from the classic series. This is when they had the money to actually make this complex, when the engineering could be nice and complex, and it was around the movieverse line where they were really experimenting. This just doesn't do that, it's like, it, it's small, and too, it just doesn't fit. I mean, Rodimus should be big. For the t uh, now you see what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not that it's it's not that I'm hating on it because it's an old toy. I'm hating on it because for the time, it's bad. Like in comparison to, I mean, what else did you have? You had the Seekers. You had the Seekers. I don't own any of the Seekers, but I know from the articulation they have and the way they're all done, they are really, really good and highly sought after. You have the classic cars, and they're fine. They have great articulation, and they have great vehicle modes. They're nice and chunky. This doesn't have that. And the robot mode is where things are really gonna get bad. Okay, now I guess I better show off the transformation because, well, uh, I'm not gonna be editing the video as much. Uh, so I don't mind showing it off. The wheels... That didn't work first! Okay. This is why I edit it, usually. The wheels pop out. They're on really tight joints. You bring up these flaps. Then you push the wheels sort of partially back in. You're going to want to open the legs up just a bit, bring this up, and bring the spoiler into place. Very nice way of dealing with the spoiler, mind you, the way it folds back. That's great engineering. Unfortunately, I wish I, I can't, I can't really say the same for the rest of the figure. What you end up doing now is you bring these legs down a bit, you pull out the arms, you bring this down, you bring the crotch forward, Bring out these bits, the skirt armor, the feet work, bring out the hands, and of course the head's already in place, you untab the shoulders, and there you are. Just fixing up the camera for a second, you can see something's off right away. Oh, yes, that's right, something's off right away, I haven't really transformed this properly. I need to fold this back first. Okay, now you can see that something's right away just is not right. Basically, this guy really, really looks bad with the paint. Like, there's no flames anywhere, there's just this slightly, you know, darker yellow. It doesn't, it doesn't even come across on camera that well. In fact, it comes across, actually comes across camera on better now that I'm looking at the screen on the camera. It comes across in real life worse than it does on camera. Like, you can sort of see the flame-ish pattern there, but it's even worse in real life. It's just not there. And once again, all the chalky paint is on display. Like, you've got chalky paint here. The yellow's fine, but then you've got the really grey there and the chalky stuff here as well. And the yellow here's fine, but honestly, the yellow here's just not. Silver's fine, although that's really about it. Now, the next thing is the proportions. He looks fine, but then you look over here and you realize that his chest really juts out. Rodimus was known for having a really flat chest. You know, no kind of anime puns intended there. But, yeah, really, it's just... And he just feels dinky. Like, he's supposed to be a sleek, slender, hot rod type character. Because that's his name, Hot Rod. And it just doesn't work like that. But the worst thing out of this, the thing that I really, that really what makes me want to get rid of the figure, is the articulation. Like, it's got ball jointed arms that don't move out, and he has the wheel jack problem that we'll get to later, where his arms pop off. <sighs> this kind of ball joint here, it really needs more. It needs to be able to move out. Like, I remember seeing a joke in a comic called Out of the Box. It's the only really funny comic on TFW 2005 that I've actually read, but that's about it. No bicep swivel, nothing but a 90 degree elbow bend with wizard sleeves. They worked fine on Megatron, but not on this guy. I mean, like, his arms, they look hella sketchy. Not to mention, the fists are way too small to hold any conventional weapon. This is the classics line. In fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of I'm pretty sure around this time they were starting to really use the 5mm peg hole. Proof of that, and I'll bring in a size comparison, is Cyclonus. Cyclonus 
has a 5mm peg hand in one and a closed fist in the other. Now, I'll bring him back in later, but yeah, his hands aren't going to work with anything. And also they have the same really chalky grey paint. He does have a flip-out saw blade though. This is a really nice touch and I hope they keep it for the Titan's Return release. Although knowing that it'll probably just be a peg-on weapon or something. In terms of other articulation, no way swivel, although I can kind of, you know, get a... I'm not too worried about that because of the time it came out. He, his legs move forward and they move out. They're on weird double hinged joints here. And his legs rotate 90 degrees, but no thigh swivel. No thigh swivel whatsoever. Like, this is one of the... This is one of the key things that almost every toy has. Either they have a ball jointed, they either have a ball jointed knee, and then it moves, like, it, and then it bends and it can also move out, but this doesn't have that. It just moves out and forward. Like, this kind of thing, yeah, the legs are fine, even though they're a bit awkward with the flaps and their double joints here, but no, this just doesn't work. And then, of course, the feet are useless, but that's also, once again, not too big of an issue. Oh, and I forgot the head moves left and right. Now, between the useless arms that don't use that don't utilize ball joints properly and the useless legs that don't have a thigh swivel these are two key things that they introduced during the classics line and they just aren't present here at all it's a real shocking thing that's going on here i mean i know that uh, combiner wars rodimus wasn't the best figure you know, it had its flaws, it wasn't really a Rodimus-style character, but as a toy, it functions a lot better than this one. It just works better. Like, it's not a great representation of Rodimus, but it is a good Legends-class toy. It's not as good as, say, Shockwave, it's not as good as Cosmos, who I don't own. I've had plenty of better Legends toys, but for what it wants to do, it's fine. Furthermore, bringing back Cyclonus, and adjusting the camera because, well, it just makes things a bit easier. Cyclonus is a toy from exactly the same time. He's, I think he came out in either the same wave or a wave after. Now, he has some kind of odd arms as well, like his arms move out and then they bend and then they only rotate down there. But, that's the only problem he has. He's aged remarkably well. He's nice and tall, about the size of a regular deluxe, his vehicle mode's a little bit sketchy, but he stands up well. He holds up very, very well today. Like, you look at it today, and he's fine. Can't say the same about this guy. This guy's aged poorly. It's like this guy, you know, had a good, long, responsible life serving Galvatron, doing what was always right, according to Galvatron. You know, plundering. But this guy, this guy decided to take up a smoking habit and you know, made his aging go a lot faster. So he's a very poor toy indeed. Now, I'm not going to say he's terrible. I don't, I think that's a bit too harsh on it. However, I just don't feel him. And with the Titan's Return toy coming out now, there's really no need for me to get, you know, there's no need for me to have him in the house anymore. I was lucky enough to get a mint in box set of both of these guys. Like on Gumtree, a guy collects things in mint in box and he decides to get rid of his collection. I went out to Chatswood and picked it up from him. Of course, the thing is, yeah, Gumtree's a terrible site, and you've, it's very hard to find things, but I found these for retail price, for both of them. And if I sell off this guy, I won't have any remorse because Cyclonus is a fantastic toy, even for his age. Rodimus? Or Hot Rod? Whatever he is? He's not fantastic. He's gonna get... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of debating whether to go... Uh, I'm gonna say one star. Because, yeah, he's not utterly terrible, but he's just really disappointing. Like, one star doesn't mean the worst of the worst. And neither does five stars mean the a, perf a perfect toy. He's not, you know... He doesn't have, he has good things, like the head sculpt is okay, the car mode's okay if it had some better paint. But as this toy, as this repaint, it does so much wrong, and honestly, I'm just glad we're getting a Titan's Return toy. So until next time, I guess I'll show you Wheeljack next time. See ya!